Are we recording? Okay. <laughs> hey everybody, this is Christina, aka the Cherokee Gypsy, and I would like to welcome everybody back to my channel. Hello babies, how is everybody doing today? Um, it is Wednesday, July 26th, 2017, I think, and... I'm waiting on dinner to be served. Actually, y'all know I live with my grandparents. Um, for the ones who didn't know, because I still haven't done my Q&A, um, I actually live in a little gypsy pad, which is my little, well, it's not little. I live in a huge RV in my grandparents' backyard so I can stay close to them because um, my grandparents are my everything. Um, I've never had a father, and my mama's kind of been in and out of my life, so my grandparents have pretty much raised me. And me and my fiance Michael, um, we stay in the backyard and in this big camper. So we pretty much, I would say we have it made. Um, we love our life here and we both work every day and we try to spend as much time as we can together. And of course, y'all know Smokey, the star of the show. Um, he is actually my grandparents' guard dog. I've actually had Smokey since he was um, five weeks old and now he's going on four and a half years old. Um, so this video, um, I'm just doing a little bit of chit chat, telling y'all a little bit about me for the ones who are new to my channel. Um, we are past 500 subbies of course and I'm still accumulating products. Um, some of my favorites for um, my giveaway that the deadline is August 15th um, so make sure that you're subscribed and that you interact on my uh, videos that I upload um, but yeah this video is going to be a little chit chat uh, I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about me the ones who don't know much about me um, and I'm going to show y'all some of my favorite products um, Y'all know that I am a skincare, well, for the ones that are new, but my OG subbies, y'all know that I'm a ride or die skincare junkie to the fullest um, and makeup. But I would say I'm more apt, if I had to choose between skincare or makeup, it would definitely be skincare um, because I don't wear makeup every day, but I have to have the best of the best when I do wear makeup. Um, my skin is very oily, acne prone and sensitive so if I was to wear makeup every day it breaks my skin out no matter how good of a product how expensive how good it's made makeup literally clogs my pores so I, I couldn't wear makeup every day even if I had the time which I work every day too but I just don't have the time um, I don't have any children, but I do have a four-year-old pit bull, and he is like a child. Um, I call him my fur baby. But this video, I'm just going to show y'all a little bit of variety of my favorite products that I like to use. Um, some of these products I use every single day, and some of these products are like makeup. The makeup that I show y'all is something that uh, is the main makeup products that I use when I do wear makeup. I feel like there's a hair on my tattoo. There is. I knew I felt it, babe. Get off of me. You know, when you get a tattoo, you don't want to touch it with dirty hands or whatnot because it could give your, uh, give your tattoo an infection. So, this is just going to be a favorite. I'm not going to say it's a July favorite. I'm just going to say some of my favorite products that I love. Um for 2017. I've got a couple of perfumes, which I'm a perfume junkie. If I had to pick between skincare and perfume, that's a really hard one because they're both pretty much up there. Um, to all my loyal subbies, uh, I love you all and welcome back to all my new subbies. Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, I do things a bit different. Um, I'm not like any other guru on YouTube who does all that fancy editing and Blah, 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 glittery bright backgrounds and whatnot. I want to give y'all traditional YouTubing, genuine, raw personality, uh, an actual human being that is down to earth that I don't have to have a face of makeup on to do a video or have my hair all done. Just a simple uh, spaghetti strap and pajama pants. So let's just go ahead and jump right into some of my all-time well, some of my favorite products that I like to use on a daily basis or 
the products that I do use when I do wear makeup. So, I guess the first product I'm going to grab since we are talking about skincare, um, recently I had went to Sephora and um, this is the Glam Glow uh, Power Dual Cleanse. Um, it is the Daily Dual Cleanser. It is a mud and oil to foam. So when you open it up, it's actually got two compartments. And on one side, it has oil that you pump out, you know, which it doesn't tell you how many pumps, which it's to your own liking. So on one side, it's got oil, and on the other side, it's got a mud cleanser. So either you can put them together or you can do them separately, which I love about that. It's very convenient. Um, I got this for, what, $29, babe? It was on sale, which this is like a $40 cleanser. But the packaging is beautiful. Um, I love Glam Glow products. They're always consistent. Um, I love anything they've ever come out with that I've owned. But um, it smells pretty good, and it's actually made for my type of skin. It does not, and I, I have sensitive acne-prone acne oily skin, and this does not break my skin out or make it worse. Um, a lot of the times, I like to do the pre-cleanse, like for oily skin, you want to use like an oil, which like breaks up makeup, which I don't wear makeup all the time, but it breaks up all the impurities that are deep down in our pores, unlike a dry person's or a normal person's skin and then I would use the mud side um, and I would get a more deeper cleanse so this face wash right here is awesome um, especially with the convenience of having two different types of face washes into one um, if you haven't tried it um, I highly suggest you do um, so next since we're talking about cleansers, this is another cleanser that I am that I've been using. It's a very gentle cleanser. This is the Different Balancing Cleanser. It's gentle, non-foaming, pH balance, and cleanses and soothes skin. Um, it is very gentle and it's great for oily, acne-prone skin. I've actually been using this and the where is it at? Oh. There it is. I actually been using this cleanser and um, this different gel with it, which it's the same brand. This is the cleanser. You cleanse your face, and then this different gel is an acne uh, retinoid topical medication that I've been putting on my comedoms, which is the flesh colored bumps on your skin that are closed. And if you try to pop them, nothing comes out like a regular zit. It sucks and it makes your skin really bumpy and textury. Um, about time for me to get a new bottle. My skin has not cleared up completely, but I use it as a spot treatment on my cheeks and forehead and chin where I have the comedoms dome problem um, so I use these together and my skin actually likes them so yeah let's see and oh since we're on cleansers one more cleanser that I really like to use all the time I love the brand fresh and this is Fresh's um, Soy Face Cleanser for all skin types. It's rich in amino acids. It gently cleanses face and eyes. This is the 50 milliliter one that I got at Sephora. Um, it's $15 because the full size is like almost $40, I think. Um, 1.6 fluid ounces. It smells like cucumber. Um, I absolutely love this cleanser love it if you haven't tried it it's very gentle so it would be good if you have my type of skin um, and I love that it's gentle it's like a gel texture and it smells like cucumber love it love it love it also one of my favorite masks this is actually my favorite mask that I own and that I've ever tried this is the full size of the fresh this is their rose face mask um, infused with real rose petals. It hydrates and tones. This is 100 milliliters. It is a $62 mask and worth every penny. Um, it is made with real roses and when you open it up, ah, it smells so good. You see that? 
it's got chunks of real roses it's got aloe vera um, and it's very gentle on your skin it's a mask you can leave it on overnight you can leave it on for however long you want sorry I dropped it um, well the mirror my uh, mirror back there fell off a couple of days ago and it fell down and it got all over the top but as you can tell it's a gel texture and those are all pieces of real roses and y'all it smells so good I like to use a brush like a uh, mask brush it's an old makeup brush of mine um, and this little baby right here it calms redness um, like if you've been picking at a pimple on your face it calms redness it's ceramic the packaging is so luxe I like to use the fresh soy face, clean, soy face cleanser and the fresh uh, rose face mask together um, my skin loves it because it's that cooling like gel texture and rose is really good for acne prone skin like rose petals and uh, vitamin C and whatnot. Um, this mask hydrates and tones the complexion to restore radiance and suppleness to all skin types. This unique cooling gel formula is infused with pure rose water and real rose petals that literally melt into the skin it is absolutely lovely and I am so glad that I have this and I will end up using the entire jar and it's ceramic and heavy so it feels real luxe um, next after I wash my face which y'all I'm obsessed with this product okay um, I actually got the sample size in my Sephora play and uh, this is the Hello Fab by First Aid Beauty. This is their Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. And on the box it says Safe for Sensitive Skin. This is the full size of it. This is a primer slash moisturizer. Um, Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer creates a smooth canvas that is perfectly prepped for makeup and no makeup days. This superfood powered priming moisturizer has an electrolyte rich coconut water base and contains minerals, quinoa protein, and hydrators that act like a replenishing drink for the skin. It has a natural coconut scent and contains subtle micro pearls that leave the complexion looking naturally dewy. Okay, with my oily acne prone skin, this stuff right here, lo my skin loves this stuff. Like I said, I got it in my Sephora Play, the sample, and I have not, this is, I have not even used the full size yet, but here is the full size of it. Um, it is $30 at Sephora and I am obsessed with this stuff I use it every single day um, it's safe for sensitive skin like I said it doesn't make me break out it smells so good it gives me a glow from within a dewy glow that I really love about it um, when I had the sample which I'm still using the rest of that one up I had to have the full size so if you have oily acne prone skin and you want a primer slash moisturizer benefit all in one and you like coconut, I highly suggest you go get this at your nearest Sephora or order it. I love it. I wear it every single day and I finally found something like a primer moisturizer that doesn't break me out like freaking crazy. So yeah, I love that. Um, next, um, everybody knows about this which this is almost gone but this is the um this is the Sol Janeiro born in Brazil Brazilian bum bum cream this is the it's a body butter but you're really supposed to put it on your bum bum and it's supposed to like tighten up you know kind of tighten you up like cellulite and whatnot um this full size is $45 and if y'all can tell I freaking love this stuff it is almost gone and a funny fact about me is I have so many y'all once you smell this you'll be addicted you will never ever ever love a body butter as much as you'll love the scent of this the pistachio and almond in this is to die for I love it um, I, they have another one that's a Kai berry but nothing compares to the original bum bum cream 
Um, I love this stuff. And $50 for a body butter is crazy, but it's so worth it, y'all. I love this stuff. It is has the most unique smell. You smell so delicious. My hubby loves it. He even uses it on himself. Um, but it has all powerful guarana extract and it's supposed to lift and tighten, which I ain't really seen too much of that, but I love it as a body butter. Um, but like I said, a fun fact about me is I am a beauty product obsessy and I, I kind of am a waster, not a waster, but I never fully use an entire product kind of like a drink. Like I'm bad about that too with my drinks. If I get a drink, I'll never fully drink it all. I'll drink half of it, but never fully all. And that's how I am kind of with beauty products. Like, I've spent so much freaking money on beauty products and don't even use them all. So, they just end up sitting around and me not using them. So, for this Brazilian Bum Bum Cream Doll must be gone. That is like an accomplishment for me. Alright, next. So, I love this. This is the Clinique Acne Solutions Acne and Line Correcting Serum. Um, you put this serum on your face. It's for acne and it acts as a serum too. You put this on your face after you wash your face. It comes with a little dropper. Um, I love this stuff. It's very lightweight and it goes great on my skin. It actually helps with fine lines and wrinkles. Um, which I don't really deal with wrinkles yet, but fine lines like under my eyes and stuff. This really works, y'all. Um, it doesn't clear my acne up, which my acne is not your typical pimples. It's comedones. But if you have not tried this, you need to try it. Next, um, I've actually been using these two products in conjunction with each other. Um, y'all know that I didn't have really much good luck with the Sunday Riley UFO oil, which is for acne. You know, it's supposed to clear up acne. It never cleared up nothing on my face. I'm just going to be honest. Um, it just kind of sat there. It smelled good. I love herbal stuff. Herbal scents, like I'm a patchouli lover. Um, but it never really did nothing for my skin. So, I finally broke down and I got the Power Couple. Um, Sephora sells these two together. These are the Sunday Riley Infamous Luna Oil and their Infamous Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. So at night you use this Luna Oil and it is a retinoid treatment. Um, next generation retinoid oil reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while fighting the signs of premature aging and redness. It's um, blue and it smells herbally, kind of like the UFO, UFO oil, um, but everybody goes crazy over this. The Luna oil, I finally got some. Um, I wear it, you use it at night, and then during the day, you can use the Sunday Riley Good Jeans uh, Lactic Acid Treatment, which I find this to be a bit heavy on my skin during the day, so I like to use these two at night before I go to bed. Um, just the full size of this Good Jeans is $105, like, it is up there, and a full size of this Luna Oil is like 80 bucks, I think, so I got the little mini sizes, which will last a while. Um, it was $85 for these two products together, and I haven't been using it long enough to see much of a change in my skin, but if y'all want to know an update or want me to let y'all know if this is worth the hype, then um, just stay tuned or let me know in the comments below that if y'all want to know about more about these two products. Next, let's see, what do I have? Okay, so next, we'll just go ahead and start showing, okay, a little, oh, first of all, uh, everybody loves setting sprays and I personally don't even just use this as a setting spray. This is the Marc Jacobs Coconut uh, Water Setting Spray. Uh, they're Recover Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist. Everybody, there's crap all over YouTube about how the top is messed up and that it doesn't squirt product out evenly, yada, yada, yada. So here's what it looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. It's luxe. It's white. It smells like coconut. It's so nice and smells so good. And you spray it on your face and... Mm, it just gives you like this dewy glow like I don't even have to put this on top of my makeup like I wear it on top of my just fab uh, first aid mo uh, 
First Aid Beauty Moisturizer. This Marc Jacobs Coconut Setting Spray is $40 and I absolutely love it. If you look at my skin, you can tell just by me spraying that little bit on my skin how it's got that dewy, glowy look. Um, I love this stuff. If I ever run out, I will be getting a another one. I promise. Alright. So, next, um, I am all about... Okay, so... I have really long hair, as everybody knows, especially my ride or die subbies. I have really long hair. And so I only wash my hair once a week. And since I only wash my hair once a week, um, I'm all about that dry shampoo. Um, I'm sure everybody loves this stuff and uses it, but this is the only scent that I like. This is the Batiste uh, Dry Shampoo uh, in the Floral and Flirty Blush. Smells like roses and flowers. I love this stuff. Um, I had to get the full size. I'm still using the sample sizes right now, kind of like my Coconut Smoothie Primer Moisturizer. Um, but this stuff right here, you can get it at your local Walmart. It's dry shampoo. Makes your hair smell so good. Soaks up the oil. You will absolutely love it. Just give it a try, especially if you don't wash your hair every day and you have really long hair like me. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all the two fragrances that I use that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. If I'm a perfume junkie, and these two perfumes are something that I wear in in rotation all week long, um, I am literally obsessed. The first one, this is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Rose perfume. And as y'all can tell, well, maybe if y'all can tell, um, over half of a bottle of this stuff is gone. This is the Nirvana Rose by Elizabeth and James, which is, I think it's Mary Kate or Ashley or Mary Kate and Ashley. It's the uh, Olsen Twins perfume line or whatever with Elizabeth and James, which is a famous designer brand. But this is the perfume that they come out with. They have many different kinds. Um, I actually like the Nirvana Rose because I'm a rose junkie, but they've got Nirvana Black, Nirvana Bourbon, Nirvana Peony, and I'm the Nirvana Rose girl. So if you smell this, this is me. This is like my signature scent. I absolutely love it. It is so vintage and different and unique. I love deep, sensual, sexy, seductive scents, and that's exactly what this is. So, that is my first fragrance that I'm obsessed with, and this is my all-time signature fragrance. This is the Wives St. Laurent uh, Black Opium uh, Perfume. Perfume. I mean, just look at the detail. Look at this bottle. Like, I've used, I've had this, what, over a year, and I've got this much left because I love this stuff so much, and it's so expensive. This was $115. My hubby got it for me, and this is vanilla bean and coffee, and this is probably one of the best intoxicating perfumes you will ever smell in your life, people. It is so deep, sensual, seductive, and sexy. I cannot describe the, how powerful you feel when you spray this on you, ladies and gents. This right here is the way to go. Elizabeth and Nirvana, uh, Elizabeth and James, Nirvana Rose, and YSL Black Opium are my two signature scents. That is me. That is who I am. Those are my scents. Those I wear. Um, I rotate consistently, constantly, all week long. So, yeah. And I also wear the uh, Marc Jacobs Daisy, too. I really love floral. I like floral, earthy spicy, seductive, deep, like tuberose. I love that. I, I mean, patchouli. I'm all about earthy and like floral. I love earthy and floral mixed together. It's lovely. So let's go ahead and jump into the little makeup products that, um, a couple of makeup products that I like to use, um, a lot. So let's see. First, for, I guess I'll show y'all the foundations. Like when I'm using a foundation, when I am putting makeup on, 
This is the It Cosmetics CC Illuminating uh, CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream with Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum. I'm sure y'all have seen this all over the place. This is actually the illuminating kind. I've got it in the shade medium because I know I'm Cherokee, but actually these run a bit dark, so medium is perfect for me. Now, when I'm tan, I would use tan, but... I have always been a tanning bed junkie, but since I'm more beauty conscious about my skin and whatnot, I have pretty much steered clear of the tanning bed. I'm terrified of getting skin cancer. So, yeah, this right here is perfect as a foundation. Um, if you want something that's simple and cuts time out of your foundation applying, I would definitely try this IT Cosmetic CC Illuminating Coverage Cream, um, which they've got the regular one. I like the dewy, glowy look, so this is the illuminating one. A lot of people said they didn't like that, and I have oily skin, and I love it. So I use this as a foundation, and then I use one other product as a foundation. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. Um, it is beautiful. I love anything Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I actually, I mean, just look at the packaging. It is just so beautiful and sexy. I've got in, I have, the, 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 I have it in the shade Warm Natural, which that is me. Like, look, I just swatched that on my skin, and, like, you can't even tell. Like, that's me. I am a warm natural, and this stuff right here is great for oily skin. They actually, I think they made this for oily skin. It's good as a concealer. It's good as a spot to cover up something. Um, it is full coverage. I mean, I feel like it's full coverage to me, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's medium to sheer coverage to others, but... Those two are the main things that I wear as a foundation. Um, I used to wear the Urban Decay Naked Skin until I discovered the IT Cosmetics Illuminating uh, CC Cream. Wow, I'm at 26 minutes. Let me hurry up. So, next, um, this is my favorite mascara at the moment, which I love the Too Faced better than sex. I love it, love it, love it. This is the Lancome Paris Grandiose Extreme Mascara Volume. This stuff right here is awesome. Gives you falsies in a bottle. Um, I'll go show y'all the brush. This is the bottle. This is $32. The brush. This is by Lancome, by the way. I mean, just look at the design. Like... It's freaking awesome, and it gives me lashes out of this world because I do not wear fake eyelashes like other people do consistently. Um, next, um, I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil. I actually have it in the shade Granite, and um, I get my eyebrows threaded all the time, and this is their eyebrow pencil um, in Granite because my eyebrows are black. And all I got to do really is just brush my eyebrows in. And since I don't, since I pretty much have good eyebrows, thank goodness I was blessed with good eyebrows. I just take this little pencil and just kind of fill in the sparse uh, spots on my eyebrows. And then voila, you know, I've got brows. Well, like the little patchy parts and, and spaces that, you know, need to be filled in. This pencil is perfect. I don't need that uh, pomade and whatnot. Um, next, I love this Becca primer. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Um, this gives me a glow like no other. I put this on before I put on my foundation. And this is what it looks like. Um... And, of course, the infamous Becca packaging. I love this stuff. Um, it is a beautiful glow. It gives you a beautiful glow. And, I mean, absolutely beautiful, like, from within. And, I mean, I don't know if y'all can tell, but... It kind of smells funny, but it, it dissipates after a little while. Um, I got that at Ulta on the beauty sales because this is like a $40 primer. And uh, I like to use that in conjunction with my IT Cosmetics CC Cream. Um, I'm almost done, guys. Almost done. Um, 
I got this in my boxy charm. This is the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. This is a little brow thing, and it come with a, a brow compact, and it come with the Brow Gal pencil, and it's got the little brush. And you can use this wet or dry, which I use the darkest shade, of course. You can use it wet or dry, and the end of it's got this uh, how it's tapered. So you can literally draw your brows in exactly how you like them. I use that all the time, even if I don't wear makeup. Um, I won this Givenchy bronzer from uh, Myra from my channel. Shout out to my girl Myra. Hey boo, I love this bronzer. It's natural. It's beautiful. Um, oh my goodness, 30 freaking minutes. I'm sorry y'all. I knew this would take a while. The packaging is to die for. You open it up. This is a all natural bronzer. Um, you open it up and it is stunning. It's got the little flowers on it. Um, I keep the little plastic clear protector. It's got the Givenchy on the mirror. Um, this is a $65 bronzer that I won in a giveaway. Shout out to Myra. Thanks, boo. I love it so much. Um, I'm about to end this video, guys, because it's a little bit too long. But I hope you all enjoyed it and got to know me a little bit better. Um, I just wanted to show y'all some of my favorite products. By the way, this is the CoverGirl Professional uh, Mascara. Like for, It's a clear mascara. You can use it on your eyelashes or you can set your eyebrows with it. It's by CoverGirl. It's awesome. Y'all should definitely check it out if you haven't. Um, and then last but not least, um, I use this NARS little mini blush that I got at Sephora. Um, this is the blush that I actually use. It is so pretty and it goes perfect with my skin tone. Um, I got that at Sephora as a point thing. These are three of my favorite brushes and then this is it. And of course the Walmart face wipes. This is the Royal and Lang Nickel Powder BMD 100 brush. Big and fat, beautiful, love it. This is the, I got this at Walmart. This is the Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Dreamcatcher Brush. And it applies and blends foundation like a dream, people. And then this is the It Brushes for Ulta. This is their Oh My Gosh Foundation Brush. I love it, love it, love it. Um, and that is it for my video. And I also love these Walmart Grapefruit Face Wipes. Um, whenever I don't feel like washing my face, um, it really helps get some oil and nasty stuff out of my, off of my face after I've been at work all day and I'm tired and lazy. So, this is my video for today. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I know it was long and I do apologize, but I haven't done a 30 minute video in a while. So, for everyone who is still watching, leave a comment below and say, um, or leave me a kiss. Uh, put a kiss emoji if you are still watching this to the end because I know a lot don't watch the videos all the way to the end. But if you did and you enjoyed this, please send me a comment, a kissy face. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and I will see my babies in my next video. Bye.